Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and we've got another trailer of Timber that we've done off camera in between episodes. Let's turn times up to times five, six for now. So we've got a load of timber here. Also we've got some eggs and flowers we're going to sell today because the prices are still very good for those. Ooh, no, no tip. No, no tip, no tip. Really? What was it? 20 seconds into you have to do it before you crashed? What room are you going? I've got to be careful here with this because I do not want that going to storage. Uh, we've also put some more pads in storage, some more planks and mushrooms. So you can see you've got 37,000 litres of mushrooms, 49,000 litres of planks, and some other pallets here and there. So yeah, that's going to fill up very quickly. So yeah, I think we're going to need at least... Well, when when this planks and mushrooms are at their best price... So scroll down here... So things like planks... June, July... At 2500 per thousand litres. And mushrooms, really September, but perhaps we can sell them in March if we need cash. So March and August in September. August is very, very dose. Look at that. Goes to about twenty three hundred per thousand years to about twenty six hundred, so that's yeah, that's, that's if we need yeah, we're gonna have a lot of pads of those, so we may sell some in March, and then the next load will be in August slash September. Actually, we'll look at a couple of other things. The oils. March. Well, canoe oil. Well, we've got to sell now. Because actually, I think we have them. So sunflower oil, that can come out. I don't know, I thought one went back in then. And canola oil. So yeah, we'll get those souls as well. Oh, I can't believe I tipped that thing. <laughs> there we go. So I think... Oh, I can't even pick it up with this. That's going to be the thing. Oh, boy. How much is a wheel loader? Because I think we've got a wheel loader. We could be able to lift that up. But yeah, let's go and grab these oils. Is there anything else? Sugar? Nope. Close. Best prices in April, so... Price is going up, but we can wait a little bit longer. Bread, we can also sell. Where's... Actually, you know what? Let's turn on the interactive zoom markers. There we go. So flower, flower, flower again, bread, and what else, clothes, maple syrup, possibly, let's have a look at that, what about maple syrup? I think maple syrup is also worth selling now because the price is going to go down. Yeah. Oh yes, definitely. And that's going to be the last. So all of these we're going to try sell today. Or we'll sell today, but the thing is, we do want to go into the spawn trigger point. Or the trigger point for it to be put back in, so... I 
Yeah, so we got one pad of those, but. Well, let's do it this way. Grab you. Get it suited up. Oh, careful, careful. better. So yeah, then quick get us up and then we'll jump cut to when this is done I think. And that is that sorted. We did get a few more flour from the farm supply production because obviously with the flour production which is just too much flour that the bread making can't keep up. That I'm not too worried about. Also we did put one more bread pallet on and one more sunflower and canola oil pallet on there from the farm supply production I was just about done. Now come on. Come on lift. There we go. I think actually that's one of my easiest recoveries I've done because so many of this place like things like on Silver Run where we flip the tray so many times. That's the thing with this tray, that's the Benefits and downside. It's got like a swivel fifth wheel. It doesn't, it's not a set fix, it does swivel and pivot. Which perhaps in the real world makes sense because as you go around the bends and corners and on different terrains, I can see, see why that's more useful. But yeah, it can be a pain. Just It's all about being careful, but I'm not necessarily careful. Also, what I've done with some of these productions, like with our greenhouses, we are sending the strawberries over. As part of getting ready to make some cakes. Also, sugar beets being sent over to make sugar. Just thought to mention that. Because, yeah, how much are... Well, actually, what do we need for cakes? I know we need milk. So, cakes, we need milk and butter. That's the things we only need now, and for that we need cows. Because you need milk to make butter. But we'll get cows at some point. I mean, no rush to get cows now. It really depends on how much money we can make in that, but... Let's go into... Yeah, it's got planks that are at rock bottom price of two grand. We're going to get two and a half. So an extra 25% in June. So wood. Best place to sell wood at the moment is... the sell everything container. Oh, if we wait till March... Actually, no, actually... Last thing, there's actually not much, much of a price um, dividends in between... selling it in... when it's at its highest and lowest. Oh, no, no tip again. I think, I think it's just with the way it's so unevenly distributed. That's what's causing it to sway a lot. But regardless... Let's sell these logs. Not too bad, 43 grand there for the first loot. And then sell... That's another three and a half grand. And that's eight ninety for those, so these can be just sh chucked over there. And all this money is gonna go back into equipment and improving the farm. Yeah, I know I've had a comment on that recently on one of my latest videos about it. It's no longer a survival challenge and that's because we're thriving for a few episodes we've been struggling but now we're getting all the things together and we're thriving so he has much it's not so much survival now but it's still we're thriving but by no means are we can just get any piece of equipment we want it still requires a lot of hard work and effort But 
yeah, we still have that windrower up here. We, do we need that windrower? That's the thing. Oh, I'm, I'm after having to decide because, yes, we're doing hay in that. With hay, we'll tend it, windrow, and bathe it. Actually, you know what? I think we'll just sell the windrower, I think. Yes, because what's the size of the other one we've got? I can't remember. So yeah, 90 meters versus 8.4, so literally half the size. But I still think it's worth it selling it in that, get a bit of extra cash in. So actually, one thing that I will mention that is things like the signage and that will stop. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll stop selling that as pure profit. Yeah, because signage is a very cheap way to get a lot of money very quickly. So I think from now on, signage we'll sell the off signage here and there, but not always. If we're making signage, it's predominantly for our cows. So I think that's a fair fair thing to say and do. Okay, so first of all we need to sell the maple syrup. So that's gonna go here. Well, if we get into the tr trigger point. Where's the maple syrup? Ah, oh, it's right in the middle. Oh, you know what? Oh, we won't do that. We'll just put everything into this whole everything container. Yes, we post up is accepted there. That 49 grand and sell the rest. Another 10 grand, and we'll get these sold. And the bread. There we go. Did not keep track of all of that, so how much does this mean for me? Go to your finances, so we've made 58 grand in wood, 81 grand in produce. So yeah, not too bad, until all 138 grand profit we've made today. I think that happens actually. So I think another investment that we can go into is Something like a forage harvester. Yes, we've got the baiter and all that. But if we save the process of making bells and that. And all we have to do is just put it into a forage harvester. And then set it. And then not set it, put it into a bunker side of sort. Or we can, in theory. Rather than have to mow it, windrow it. Just harvest it. Make it into chaff and just dump it on the ground. That is a good option for us, so we'll repaint you. No, no, yeah, repaint that one. This one we're just going to repair for grand. So we'll get 61 grand out of that. Not too bad. Anything in the used market today? Nope. But now, we've got the money, and I did say we was going to do it for some time, but it's time to get, where are you two, nope, our brand new planter, three point linkage, and that only takes seeds and no fertilizer. Thank you. 
Let's buy a bunch of seeds since we're already here at the shop. Yeah, I know, we don't need it because I've got like 21,000 litres already. But four grand. What's the harm in that? So I'm thinking what we're going to do is plant cotton. Why? Because of the production chain. Because if we have a look at our crop calendar, if we do cotton today, that would be ready to harvest in October. And then that field could be, if we don't do cotton again, that could be like a winter wheat or barley. If I say winter barley, gives us enough time to prep the field if need to for canola or if we do wheat and wheat or barley. Sugar beets will also do and that would be next month in March and that would be ready in October so what are the fields going to be? This is going to be our cotton field here and that is going to be our sugar beet field and then plot 50, not 57, 47, that is going to be our silage field. Well, first of all, cut it and all that, make silage. Then we'll replant it, or so plough it, replant, get some hay out of it. And then we'll go and buy 57, or we can do that now potentially. Uh, we'll wait on that, I think. Yeah, if we wait on that, get that done, so we can have one field up here, another field down there. This could be cut into threes, I think. One, two, three. Yes, we do have a bit of forestry over there. 56, we're not going to touch. Unless, if you want to use this as a... for fields, then we'll sort of say we will deduct, let's say, what's that, about half or just over half. Now, if we're using the, now we'll use, I'm not sure, let's say half we're going to use, we'll deduct, deduct 45 grand or whatever, 42 and a half. I don't know, I think that sounds fair. But yeah, so this is going to be a big change for us. So let's get this done and take this down to the fields. But first of all what we're going to need to do is do a quick plow because when we've cut this forest down we've made some more space available for us so I'm going to take a second. So I'm thinking there is going to be alright. Let's try and get that left or that side over. There we go. So we say go down, create fields, and then there we go. This is going to be the hardest part, it's just creating this field here. We've got rid of the stumps, or at least most of those, I would say. Then we'll just arc it around. To the point that we are joining the fields. And then one more pass. So, yeah, we may rock pick this because it's going to need rock picking, lime, and fertilizer. So, it's going to need all the works. So, actually, does this need fertilizer? That's 51%. So, we'll get this, oh I don't know, rock picked, lined, fertilised and then we'll whack on the seeding over there. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of work for us so best way to get about it is do a little time lapse, get all this done and then I'll see you folks later on I think.
there we are. So that is the plowing done. That is the cultivation pr almost done. And we've bought some discarrows we'll talk about in a sec. So this is being cultivated and that's been almost cultivated. I've got our old cultivator because this field was already mulched and we got the John Deere working on that. That's doing pretty well actually. May just cultivate some bits over here and that. That's pr perhaps because of the tree stumps. Yeah, cause I think once we remove those tree stumps, work will have no issue whatsoever. But yeah, that's working fine. And the reason was the Great Plains. That ain't a direct drill. The cedar that we was on about getting, that's a direct drill, as you may have seen. So during the time lapse, realise this. So I saved the game, left, look up some mods and that. And I've gone with the Lando 7431VT 33 footer. So that's just over the 10.5 ish meters. And I've got two of those. Not sure why. May not send one because I don't think we'll ever need two. Because if we look at the crop hander and that, unless we're doing, let's say, a bunch of potatoes, sugar beets, and all that, even it all in one go, then yes, we may have to use a cultivator or two actually but I don't think we're going to do that because you're know, doing cotton now that's going to be planted today sugar beet will be planted in the next episode along with the oats so cotton sugar beet and oats that's going to be that field over there hence why we cultivate it so we can use our brand new cedar or planter. So let's go and get this positioned over here. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, what you should do with my time lapse is I sort of let's say we get certain things done, we'll do it as much as we can in the time lapse. Try to keep it to around two minutes at most. Yeah, I know sometimes my time lapses are either over or under. It really depends on what I get done or what needs to get done just for the sake of progression in the episode so I think if we go up to here and then we cut across worker can finish off this last little bit here whilst we do the seeding but yeah this case does struggle with it and I'm half tempted to sell this case and upgrade it I'm not, actually no, I'm honest, I should have thinking about that. Because the case, that's worth 94 grand. So perhaps once painted and all that, we can sell it. So I want to get the John Deere 9X3T. That is quite expensive at 175 grand. And of course we still need about getting the cows and that in. So uh, cows go with pigs or at some point. But then cows is the main priority, so that's the thing. Yes, it's not so much survival, we're thriving. But we've still got a ton of work to do in that. Okay, missed a bit of mulching there. Hence why the texture is slightly different. Sorry about that, phone went off, so yeah, what we're just going to do is finish this off anyways, get the worker doing that, and then we'll start doing seeding. Yes, I know we have to do the rolling, we'll try to get that done. Depends on how long it takes for this to seed, or either do it at the start of this end of this episode, or at the start of the next one. We'll say in February, if we need to roll it in the next episode, quickly get that done, and head into March, and then get the rest of those done in the next episode so workers on that and I think the best thing to do is just do a heads and pass first of all helps if you turn it on fertilizing parts of it is done at 50% or 100% because when we fertilised the new area, I just went over and just fertilised a strip. And I think 
that yeah that fill is fully fertilized that one ain't yes there's some stones that, that could redo a pick in but I don't think raised stones don't do too much all it does is put a bit of extra wear on the equipment of course the worst one is the fence because it is very expensive to retain that's because it is a used tractor right in the day. Remember, we bought this for a bargain price we did. I mean, an absolute bargain, hence why we got this. There's no way at this stage we could afford this and everything else. We have to make sacrifices on our bean setup or not have the tree harvester set up, but this is definitely worth it, especially the upgrades we've done on it. Was it 500 horsepower it's got now? Yeah, 517. There is that unrealistic Lizard Tardis XL trailer in the used market. And yeah, at this time, I ain't gonna touch it. Maybe down the road in future episodes, we may change that. But apart from now, I don't really think it's really worth going down that route. So I'm thinking if we go. If we go along here. Go back down, go straight up. Oh yeah. Okay, we can't go straight up yet because of that. It needs to be finished off, so And I doubt we'd be able to fast farm with this, so But I still may go with the cedar that we was all about getting. Ooh, whoa. What the heck was that? Just random skid there. But yeah, also we really need to get that field done. So I think yeah, next two episodes will be in February and March after this, because that needs to be mowed. And yes, yeah, so I like to do time lapses and that, and little jump skips here and there. But I do really want to do too much jump skips because I want to show what I've been doing. So. Actually, wait, how many sludge bells is there? Just thinking. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 30 there. If we leave those 30 for. Uh, what's it? For the sheep. No, cows. We get these though. They didn't say we weren't going to sell any, but I forgot. We were going to sell some of these first of all. So, these bits here we will we'll, we'll sell. And then the rest of it we can just leave for the cows. So yeah, I'm gonna get all this done and I'll see you folks afterwards. Had me down for the count. I was on nine nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control. Now I'm going bye bye, bring the fire. You took something beautiful and made it something cruel. It's all that I get from you. You're so delusional. Now watch me take control.
stick it to you. And there we go. That is pretty much most of this done. Just checking the map once more where we've missed. We've got to do this bit here and come back down, I think. Just do like that little section there. But apart from that, that is pretty much all of it. So let's map update a sec. Oh no. Worker? No. Ah, because you see that going incredibly wrong there. So. No. There we go. So that's little section here. Bit down there we've missed. But apart from that, that's all of it done. So I'm guessing we've got all of it. There we go, looks like so. But yeah, the textures and that on the ground, when it's like dust... Yeah, dust, not dawn. <laughs> Almost said dawn there, but when it's like dusk out there, it's very hard to see. The actual textures on the ground, like the differences. Barely tell. You can see the lines and that, but you have to zoom proper in in that to actually pick it up. So that's that done, I'm guessing. That map update. Yes, that is that done. So we'll get this filled up. Pretty sure we can get the other two fields done with this. Or well, what we've got left is it, but we might as well just fill it up anyways. As if we can. Ah, just bargy's out of the way. Be a bit orgy bargy. There we go, that's that filled up. And we'll select sugar beets. Get you put over here ready for tomorrow. So that's been part there. Now, when he grab the mulch, not mulch, the roller. But yeah, that, that cultivator there, that is a really helpful one, because a cultivator and a mulch or so, that can be quite useful for us, because you think about it, we can set that off on like one big field. Uh, where is the roller, actually? Nope, nope. Devour trees. So over here, where's the roller to? Oh, that's just me being blind as a bat. Right there. Couldn't see the dark blueness. There we go. Let's get rid of the circle. How much are these rollers again? Because I may look at. Well, actually, yeah, it's all good saying we'll look for another roller in that. 41 grand ain't too bad. If we can go with a bigger one, that'd be nice. We can do that with the fence. This one can do. Again, that can do mulching. So that's a very versatile roller, but. That, ooh, that looks really nice. That's 110 grand. How much can we get for the roller now if we sell that? Maybe 30 grand. The thing is, we need to think about the cotton harvester. So, cheapest one is 485. Is it? Oh, there, there is was a colossus one, but accidentally. He, Unselected that when I went to do a lot of the game when selecting the mods and that. But when I was selecting the cultivators and that, and accidentally, yeah. So yeah, we'll re enable that because I think the Colossal one starts off about 350, 380. So yeah, it's pretty expensive. But when it's cotton ready, was it like October time? Yeah, October, so we sell lots of stuff in July now with all the planks and that, June, July. So yeah, I think money-wise recover, just need to be a bit careful in that with our spending.
So go straight on there. And then we'll just turn around, go outside, and then get the worker doing the rest of this. But regardless, that is where we're going to leave it for today. So next time, we'll stay in February. Get this done. I'll get this done on camera in that. It's been a while since we've shown a bit of rolling. So yeah, we'll go and get that sorted. And then we're going into March. This needs to be seeded with sugar beet. And that needs to be done with oat. So perhaps what we can do is get the head done on that first of all. So get around here done. Oh, that's a bit we've missed. Oh, we'll get that done first. So yeah, get that, and then perhaps we could get the two John Deere's. Get one sort on this end, one sort on that end. And then we'll get the Great Plains one to come over here once that's done, because that's going to get this done very quickly. And yes, got turn around as well. Yeah, that's what we did do the tree in there during the time. That's about a big old tree, 4,000 litres of timber. And also there is some potatoes we need selling. When is the best time to sell potatoes? Have a quick look. Oh, now. So yeah, we'll go and get all that. Because we did have potatoes from the greenhouses. I think we've got about 6,000 litres or so in there. 5,000, 6,000 litres. tree, dang it. Ooh. Come on. So yeah, 6,000 litres and we do have a few more pallets about. So how many pallets left do we have of the potatoes? Are these potatoes? Yes they are, so that's another 5,000 litres. Get those sold. And there was a pop-up of great demand for maple syrup, so we'll quickly sell that at the start of the next episode. 288. Um, whether or not that second one will be ready before the end of the day, I'm not sure. So I'm looking here. How's our wool? 6,000 litres of wool. Cotton. It's out of cotton, I think, so that'll come in. Yeah, it's quite sporadic, I know, but... Perhaps we could turn off the flower production for the time being. Just get a bunch of stuff coming in, fill that up. And with the oil, sunflower and canola. Was that being made in the greenhouses, the canola? Yes, yeah, so that's being made, so... And... Uh, how far does the price drop for the oils? Is they also need tank? No, 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 they're, they're good. So we can get those done until April. And then everything will just be left in storage. Sell in September, perhaps, and then the rest in the winter this time next year. But regardless, plenty of things to do ahead. But for now, that's where we're going to leave it for today. As always, I hope you enjoyed the episodes. Try to get a few more episodes out. Maybe go back to just doing one day upload a day. But besides from that, yeah, hopefully Court Farms that should be out within the next five weeks, perhaps. Patch 1.1 is already being worked on, and yeah, it's going to be about another five weeks or so before we see that on Mod Hub. American Falls. That hopefully should be coming out soon. That's in back in testing, so that comes out. We'll do a series on that, along with Court Farms and New Man's Land. If you've gone to enjoy the episodes, smash that button, throw a link on down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not trying yet, then please consider. But for you just do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.